Hello friends, welcome back to the channel Exotic Sense with Nikhil and we are in the land of Himalayas and a beautiful uh, river flowing down in the background. This is Nepal, the country of Nepal, the most beautiful, the nicest people around in the world, the most laid back culture and uh, a wonderful land for the travelers. And I decided to make a Dua fragrance review here. I hope you can hear me. The background noise is pretty high and today we have two of the most uh, wonderful limited edition releases by the house of Dua. The first one that we are going to talk about is Belgian Choctaw Truffle, which I'm particularly fond of. This is a Gourmet, guys, and particularly unisex. This, being a unisex scent, is also a very, very safe bet for the ladies and the men. I think uh, a beautiful quality of this perfume is that this lasts for a very very long time and it never never smells cheap I have had the opportunity of sampling uh, Montal's Cafe Intense and that's a beautiful perfume I think with a lovely uh, dark chocolate uh, creamy vanilla and uh, you know a lovely uh, hint of coffee nuts in the background uh, that is one of my favorite gourmands I'm not particularly very uh, you know uh, mm, fond of gourmands but this is one scent that I like to wear a lot this has ingredients as Belgian milk chocolate almonds dried plums vanilla and caramel this perfume uh, is available in 50% concentration and this is the stand bottle that it comes in that is a 30 ml format so the perfume has basic ingredients it is not overtly sweet or cloying although I must say that the first hour of wearing you have to be careful because the scent is particularly very very loud like the mobster so be careful with the number of sprays just go just go half a spray on both sides of the neck and i think you're set for the whole day uh, then maybe depending on the external factors on your skin quality you can adjust the dose of the perfume or the you know the, the spray the number of sprays that you use for yourself that you're comfortable with this has a very beautiful opening of thick milk chocolate this is the sweet kind of milk chocolate I don't get or you won't get that dark nutty uh, uh, you know cocoa vibe that you get from dark chocolates it is more of an orange biscuit opening if you know what I mean orange biscuits or uh, imagine uh, an orange rum based chocolate this is how this perfume starts actually all right although the note is not mentioned but that is what comes to my nose it is actually because of the note you know that is trying to mimic an actual waffle cone or an actual base of a pastry or a cake that is very very pronounced in the opening because of, because of the really uh, you know intense uh, oil concentration the oily texture that it has i sprayed it on my skin almost one one hour back and this is how it feels still it's very very sticky as compared to the vanilla gelato it's not so prominent on my skin if you can see so that orange biscuit note stays about half an hour when this perfume settles down into a very yummy you know a very ambery kind of chocolate and it actually does a really nice job of virtually mimicking a real Belgian chocolate truffle this is what it is about one hour down uh, into the performance you get a very 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 unique uh, experience a wonderful chocolate pastry and this is absolutely unisex guys this this really is a very very yummy juice it's like dipping someone inside um, a, a huge box of chocolates you know and this would be ideal for dates this would be ideal if you want to go really loud walking into a party people are going to notice you people are going to compliment you and definitely this will end in a very very hot manner because people your lover your girlfriend boyfriend wife husband would be ready to eat you up this is how uh, delicious this thing is you get that orange biscuit wipe you get a lovely milk chocolate a very nutty very thick chocolate and you get a little bit of that biscuit kind of a vibe which comes from the almond almond the combination of the almond the dried plums it is an absolutely beautiful perfume guys and for the price that it comes for this is 3000 rupees for 30 ml of concentration 
in India. This is available on perfumery.in. And uh, if you want to buy it from their international website, it is www.duafragrances.com. I think this is a must buy for gourmand lovers. Definitely a must try and I love this perfume. It's not overtly cloying, it's not overtly sweet and I'm very comfortable wearing it. But I will advise you to adjust the dose as you do for most of the perfumes. It could get really loud uh, in an environment, in a closed environment, in your office space. It's a vers versatile scent guys but gourmands tend to get a little cloying. It's trying to mimic a food item guys and you know people uh, there are many people who do not like sweet, uh, too much of sweet in our uh, dishes, too much of sweet in our pastries. This is like a French cafeteria on steroids. That's all, so just be careful. The second fragrance that we are going to talk about is Vanilla Gelato. Vanilla Lemon Gelato. Alright, and as the name says, this is a lovely gourmand, but gourmand in the sense that it has a little bit of that citric element. So it gives it uh, an edge over the gourmands in being more versatile although it is unisex but I feel even men can carry this off really nicely because of the quality that it has and uh, uh, I think uh, Masam you've done a really nice job with this particular perfume it combines vanilla extract, Tahitian orchid, tonka bean, bergamot, lemon and geranium but what I basically get from this perfume is uh, uh, you know, it starts with that uh, lovely bergamot, a very dense bergamot, which you'll get from Roja Dove's bergamot extract. It starts with that bergamot. It is not that ripe, greenish kind of bergamot. It's more like a subdued bergamot, which has been devoid of, you know, which has been chopped off of that dense uh, herbal quality that it has, that stingy quality that it has. So it's a pretty toned down bergamot. A lovely bergamot, I must say, gorgeous, but it does not stay for a long time. The opening, because then the lemon, it starts coming out with the bergamot and the vanilla absolutely shines. This is like the vanilla essence that you use for your food items. It is a wonder, wonderful, uh, wonderful opening, which is very, very intriguing, very, very lovely to the nose. Even though it, fails, uh, it feels a little faint on the skin, you'll get whiffs here and there. It is a soft projector, so let me... Uh, tell you one thing it is not overtly loud as your Belgian chocolate truffle or other perfumes by this house this is a particularly soft more gentlemanly scent all right and uh, the tonka bean has been done to a lovely effect you get that floral element of orchids and uh, in the dry down all these combine to give out I don't know whether you felt it in this perfume but I definitely get that and that is the lovely pepperminty accord that you get and the bergamot, which initially was very dense and just went away, suddenly uh, comes out again. So it's uh, uh, bergamot, a little bit of the vanilla extract and there is a lovely note of that orchid which gives it a minty feel. It's like uh, vanilla gelato uh, laid over ice cubes. It's a wonderful feeling guys which Masam has tried to mimic in his perfume and this is a lovely, lovely release. The only problem with this is that I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sweating. The sun is already up so high, even though it's early morning, it's seven o'clock here. Anyway, so the only problem that I felt with this is the performance. The performance is going to be pretty, pretty average. But even if it is average, you'll get a lovely longevity of six to eight hours easily. And this thing is going to project softly, which I feel is one of the better things with a gourmand because gourmands tend to you know, become a little overwhelming to the senses and I feel a little cloyed. I feel a little annoyed, a little heavier. So this one is absolutely safe, versatile. It'll smell lovely on the ladies and it'll smell absolutely gorgeous on men as well. Both these fragrances can be applied, can be used by um, anyone of any age group. For the prices that they come for, it is really, really a nice experience. I would love to rate the Belgian chocolate truffle higher than this. I would rate it 9 out of 10 and this one a definite 8 out of 10 or at least an 8.5 out of 10 for that lovely peppermintish note. Thank you Masam for both these unique scents and uh, guys if you love watching my videos please subscribe to the channel and there are uh, another 4 perfumes by the house of Dua that I'm going to discuss on this channel. Take care. Bye bye.
have a great time and wish you lots of lots of love and luck from the land of Nepal. Take care. Bye-bye.